So Valentine's Day is over and um, I showed you all how I decorated this room for Valentine's Day. I had never done that before and so since I did not before this year own any Valentine's decor uh, decorations at all, um, I didn't have anywhere to store them. I thought that I would just be carrying up a couple of things and putting them back in the attic. Well, it would take me 10 trips to put all this up there if I carried it two, thing, two or three things at a time. So, I bought one of these totes, these Rubbermaid containers. It just happens to be um, pink. <laughs> um, I was actually looking for a red one because up in our attic we have like all gray ones and I thought boy a red one or yeah all gray ones and i thought a red one would really stand out but i told kevin i said this pink one is fine because pink that's perfect for valentine's day too so what i did was i went up in the attic and i got all these um pieces of plastic that i have i don't have that much but i'm going to uh, wrap up the breakable items and make sure that they make it into the bin. If, if nothing else makes it in here, I want these breakable dogs uh, to make it in there. And uh, so anyway, I will probably just speed this part up and we're gonna undecorate for uh, Valentine's Day. Anytime we go to Home Goods and I buy something breakable and they wrap it up in this paper. Even if it's crinkled, I take the paper out and uh, like this, you could tell it was really, really crinkled. I take the paper out and all you do is just flatten it out and then I fold it all together and I collect it up in the attic. And the reason I do this, that is so that I can reuse it and uh, put it, wrap breakable stuff in, up in it. I might not have to use any of this today though. Uh, since I had so much bubble wrap. Yeah, see the, the dark green one's the one that I usually you want use. That or that? Uh, let's do the light one. But we just have to make sure that the tag is up at that end. You see the tag? No. no. You got it. Go down. Run with it. I don't think we've ever had this side up. We have. It's pretty. I know it's beautiful. I actually like that side. I do too. Doing? I no, do too. I've got quite a bit hanging over. Okay, I don't. Okay, you've got probably a foot. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and now we can. Oh, let me show you these things. Because this one is made, this is the one I, I ordered, so before I bought hearts and I had them, I cut the garland, I bought them at Meyer and I cut the garland and I dangled them, I took, uh, what are those things called? I don't know, wire ties or zip, zip ties, ties is what I call them, and zip ties and I hung them from here. These shamrocks I ordered from Amazon, so I don't know what they're going to look like yet, I don't know how we're going to be able to hang them. It might be a pain because it looks like, I don't know. There's some threads. Oh, that'll work. Or as long as we can hook a... I'll put it on. It is long. We'll have to cut it off. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll have to cut it off. Well, they're taped on the back, so they're not going to cut or glue or something. They're not going to go anywhere. Yeah, we'll just have to, we'll, we'll do them at different... Yeah, they're not as full as the other ones are, are they? I wonder if you could, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, ooh. And put a zip tie and make it a ring. And then just cut the ends off. Oh, I don't like that. Well, no, because they're upside down. Oh, uh, it's no more. Upside they're down. hanging upside down. That was a good idea, though. I like that idea. Well, you could cut it in half. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking we can make it different lengths. No, I'm saying you could cut, because I'm going to get all tangled. Um, you could cut it to where you can attach it to the top. See what I'm saying? 
No. I'm, I'm going to wait and see what you do. <laughs> well, I'm right now, so i got to come untangle first. Cut one of these there you get eight shamrocks on each line Kevin cut it in half and you couldn't just fold it over because then four of them would have been upside down and so we um, he uh, cut it in half and then we took uh, one line and tied it to the other so that it would kind of fill in the gaps because there's a lot of gaps in between these so um, I told Kevin though my concern is we're going to all this work to do this and then next year when we get them back out these all be in a tangled mess because the the thread is so thin that it, it's just ridiculous um, and chapels down here on the floor he thinks this is a fun game I did I put uh, this hat and scarf on Albert some people might think it looks silly but I think it's cute and then on the hall tree I have just this little pillow and I have uh, my little um, gnome guy with the red hair which I love and then in the dining room um, we we used all but I think I got like eight packets of these. We used all but two. So that is uh, six packets of the shamrocks and Kevin um, put them all together for me because they were kind of a pain because of that thin wire or thread, but uh, it's okay. And I lovingly referred to these as Ander and Christina. <laughs> I think they're so cute. That looks like Anna and Christina, though. That's adorable. Um, and then, these are just the random things that I picked up. I think everything was bought... I think just about everything was bought at Home Goods. Those candles, I believe I bought at World Market on sale after Christmas. Because they smell like pine, but nobody ever know. And But I'm thinking everything else I bought from... Um, from Home Goods, and then um, I have two more pillows. I have this pillow in the kitchen in the window sill, and the window seat in the window seat, and then I have this pillow on the bed. <laughs> and you can see, yes, I know he gets cold. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's a good baby. He's comfortable, so we won't bother him. But that's my big pillow. So we're having the same meal as we had last Friday. We're having fried chicken. We had bought a great big thing of legs and so we divided it in two. And we bought a thing of thighs too and divided it in two. So we got four meals out of two packages. So this is the rest of our legs that we have and we're having hash brown casserole. I showed you, I actually filmed that that little clip of the dining room table yesterday, but I just remembered I bought this little man at At Home. So not that anybody cares, <laughs> um, but it used to be called Garden Ridge and now it's called At Home. Um, so I did get that at At Home and I may, I may have gotten the cup, the glasses at Marshall's. May have gotten them at Marshall's. If I didn't get them at Home Goods, then I got them at Marshall's, but everything was very, very affordable, um, and I'm very, very pleased with everything. And this tablecloth, uh, we've never had it on the table on this side. Normally, we can, we always put it on the other side. I'll show you what it looks like, and it's dark. So at different times of year, we've we've had it dark, and we love the light color because it really shows off the pattern. Today, Kevin is going to start this Metal Earth. This is Harry Potter Hogwarts in the Snow. So, for Christmas, um, Ashley gave this to him, and, 
Andrew gave this to him. So we sent one back. It didn't matter whose was which one was which that we sent back. But we sent one back to Amazon. They had no problem taking it back because that's where they ordered them. Um, but this is uh, this is like a almost. So this is the difficulty level. Expert level. Yeah, it's. Uh, well, did it say somewhere that it was an expert, expert yeah, or did it say on their the website. website? Okay, on the website. So, um, I mean, it, it was challenging. It was challenging or expert, I can't remember. Yeah, this is a big one. So, I'm going to, it, it says four, four, four metal sheets. I don't think I've ever had one. Before. Why don't you open it here? And it has, um, it said something about the instructions too. It says uh, illustrated instructions which they all have illustrated instructions. But uh, I think this was one of the more expensive uh, models. I, how much did you get back for this from Amazon? Like Right at 40, 30 four, something. Yeah, so this is one of the more expensive um, metal earth kits. And um, I always say this when I show, Kev, uh, show these metal earth, I, I like to um, show them to you in case you're new to the channel and you've, you're have you like, what in the world is that? Uh, because when you see it at the end, it's hard to imagine how it started. Because you get, I'm going to show you. I don't think I've shown it really. There we go. So this is how these pieces look. I mean, this is what you're dealing with little bitty let me show this one because that's ridiculous oh, that's underside. yeah let me yeah look how teeny teeny tiny these pieces are windows. yeah <laughs> teeny tiny pieces that you're dealing with so this one will probably take kevin all day oh, um, might not even finish yeah he, and he might not even finish it today so i'll tell you what what i like about these middle earth has come a long way because they were all metal they were all just like this and they sometimes had a pattern to them, but that was it. Like they would have had a brick pattern, but now they've painted them and there's so much detail. I mean, look at the, they got the, like the, the, the grass uh, in the snow there and the, like the roof showing through the mm -hmm. snow. I love the amount of detail they're giving. So let's now. see some of your instructions. Yeah. This and even the stuff. instructions have changed um, over time. So... So if you um, are the type of person who can do sewing patterns and stuff, you might be good with this. I am not good with any of that. I'm not good with any kind of sewing pattern. I don't like to read instructions. Kevin does like to read instructions. Kevin enjoys reading instructions. That's the kind of people, people with a lot of patience, people yeah. who like little pieces. And you have to be able to see... 3d image and something flat too and some people aren't good at that i'm not good at that i'm not good at any of it but see they, they've, so. they've changed they've updated it to where it's either color coded so they used to like this is part 55 going to this pink one they would have had another one saying 55 goes to this one now they're just saying it's pink and you, right or they wouldn't have had a number pointing at all to this one and you go okay that's 55 where's the other one that looks like that right so they stepped it up and made them you know they color up color right them, which is really which nice. is, makes life so much easier so you can uh i you... still wish they would take this instruction or this pattern sheet and make it completely separate because when I do this first, like these first two, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to be flipping back and forth to figure out what But we on. showed before. I had it up on the website. You had it on their website. Yeah. So maybe you can get this and up I, on I the website. So, yeah. so anyway, I'm letting you see it right now. This is how it's starting. Uh, and uh, you'll see it when it's finished. So the clip you'll have seen right before this was us introducing the um, Hogwarts in the snow. And it's actually been like three days ago that we introduced that. And I just, I wanted to put the clips together because um, I wanted you to be able to see it out of the package and now. So you can actually see the detail of the snow on the ground. But I want to show you, um, look at all the little windows over here and Kevin had to put each one of those little windows on there and the little spiky things on the side the little towers on the side oh all those yeah wow there's so much detail on here that uh, you would have to look at it for a very very long time to see it all um, let me show you this clock around here you see this this, one. this walkway right here 
And then you go on around, and there's like a fountain out front. And this clock, which I love. Uh, so, Kevin, how many hours do you think this took you? Would you have any oh, clue? I don't know, 20, probably 20 plus. And do you think this is the hardest one you've ever done? Um, yeah, there's a lot of details. I tell you the hard part, the Look hard part is here. anything that's got these little, the, these, these pointy like roofs. Right. Any model that has these are hard. Because they're cone shaped. Because they're cone shaped, and it's hard to get up in the point and get them perfectly round. Right. It takes a while to do it. So those are what's the hardest part. Right. And so, uh, so was this one an expert one? I don't know. It's one of the hardest ones. Okay. Yeah. Look. The, the, oh. The, yeah. I wonder if any of them go all the way down to hard. Um, I don't know. The, this is one of the the highest ones they have on the website. Okay. So what is? The, and the sheets. I just wanted to hang on me to show you that this did include some extras. Like if you broke some pieces off of, of some of them. Well, um, normally. Normally you don't have very many. I mean, you might have a couple extras here and there. No. So you can see right here there were extras in case or in case you drop one drop on the on floor the and you never see it again. That's yeah. happened like before these. too. Like all these little windows. Yeah. You can see all the ones I cut out and used. Right. So, I actually didn't lose any of those. So <laughs> these are the little windows and this is what they look like on the Flat. sheet. Yeah. Flat. And these are um, the extras that they give you. So, yeah, they look, honestly, they, they're shaped like little t-shirts. Does that not look <laughs> like a t-shirt? Like a shirt? So, yeah, sometimes they fall on the floor and you drop them and you never see them again. So, I just wanted to show you that they do give you some extras. Uh, but I absolutely love this. So, this was a good model. This was probably a $40. I it think was right at $38 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. This is the ice on our neighbor's house. Look at that. It's really, really pretty, but I wouldn't want to be under any of those if they fell. <laughs> and this is a worse. Look at the ice of the stones in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's where the gutter uh, uh, drains right there, and it's just solid. It is Sunday, and we are on the interstate. We did not get out of the house at all yesterday. It was, it was just so cold. It was very, very, very cold. And the car um, was frozen in the driveway. And I mean, we could have, of course, we could have gone out and cleaned it up. I mean, my sister was out. And, um, my sister and her husband were out. And, uh, but Ashley, Ashley, where she lives, her car, she was stuck. Um, she uh, will have to wait till it warms up a little bit today before she can get out. But um, it's supposed to warm up into like, what, what, 35 or something today? So, woohoo! Uh, almost 60 by Wednesday. I know, which is absolutely crazy. So all this snow that we're looking at will be gone by then. Um, thank goodness, though. Kevin and I, or at least I, do not like the cold at all. If you could live somewhere that was hot or cold, which one would you? Oh, definitely. Or, Warmer, yeah, for sure. because you could go inside and be in the air conditioning, you know? So, this uh, is really humid. I don't want that either. But you can always be inside. Yeah. You can get out in the, in the morning or whatever or at night and just stay in during the heat of the day. And, and yeah, so we do, we do not like cold weather. And I think I've said this before, the older I get, the harder the cold is on my body and my skin and everything. Um, if, if I stay cold for a while, my hands are just... They, right now, they look absolutely horrible, and we haven't really been out in the cold. Um, but our house is cool, too. So, um, But Kevin made sure when he came out to the car, the ice was on it, like, really, really thick. And Kevin always makes sure that he takes the time to clean the car off, because it's a, it's a lot of... I think a lot of new drivers are... It's something that you forget to tell new drivers, that... And that's dangerous to leave that on your car. So even if you've got your windows cleaned off and you can see out your windows, it's very dangerous to have that that snow even or ice on the top of your car, on your hood, on your uh, trunk. Because when you are driving down the road or on the interstate, wind gets under that and you can blow that in somebody else's windshield. It could crack somebody's windshield if it's like ice like what we have. So it's just... Um, 
and for safety, it's best to just wait for it to, to, uh, to for you to clear it off or wait until it melts off. We, uh, while we were in yesterday, um, Kevin worked on that metal earth uh, that I showed you, the Hogwarts, and, um, but we also watched two movies. Uh, we watched one, it had a, I think it, it's a stupid name, I don't like the name of it. It's called, um, I Care A Lot, and it's on Netflix, and it has, um, Rosamund Pike is the main character, which she was a Gone Girl. It has Peter Dinklage, so if you like Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones, um, he's in it. But one of my favorite, favorite people, Diane Weist, I love her. I think she's wonderful. She is such a terrific actress. She's the one, if you don't recognize the name, she's the one that was the Avon lady in Edward Scissorhands, and she was the mother in The Lost Boys. Um, she was in, there was a show that it got canceled, but Kevin and I really liked it. What was the name? Life in Pieces. Life in Pieces. So good. Such a good show. She's just a great actress, though, but she's in this movie. I care a lot. And, um, I, I'm not going to give anything away because I, I, I wouldn't do that, but I was halfway content with the ending. Is that a good way to say it? Yeah. I was not 100% happy with the end of it. I was 50% happy with the end of it. Um, so anyway, we watched that. Um, and then we watched... It was a good one-time movie. Yes. It was worth watching, but it was a one-time It was a one-time... And you know where it's going. Pretty right. much. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. Um, it, yeah, pretty much you know where it's going. Um, and then we watched one called... Uh, all, was it called? All The Little Things. That's what it's called, The Little Things. And it has Denzel Washington, and it. it, it's on um, Netflix, too. Both of these were on Netflix. HBO. Or HBO, that's right. Uh, I Care A Lot was on Netflix, and The Little Things is on HBO. So, uh, it had Denzel Washington, and then we started watching it, and this guy shows up, and I said, that looks just like the guy that played Freddie Mercury in that Queen movie, Bohemian Rhapsody. Kevin looked it up, it was. He's un, you, you can't, you can't unsee Freddie Mercury in him because he has this overbite just like Freddie Mercury had. It's, his name is Rem, Remy Malik. And this movie, this also has Jared Leto, I guess is how you pronounce his name. Um, but once you see Freddie Mercury in him, it's hard to unsee it because he was so convincing in that part. Um, but it was a very good movie, I thought. It was good. I liked it a lot. Um, and I liked Denzel Washington anyway. Uh, he, and Kevin looked him up. He hadn't been in a movie in several years. Like 18, 2018. Yeah. So, uh, so those are two that you might um, be... Um, them, I think, are kind of hard to watch in their own way for both yeah. very different reasons. Well, the second one was like more of a, I guess, violent movie. Yes. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's one of those where, uh, the first one just ticks you off. The first one just, yeah, it makes you mad. Well, and if, if you are an elderly person watching that movie, uh, or even not. I mean, I'm not an elderly person, and it just really ticked me off. That whole, that I care a lot, uh, it just will, it, it will tick you off, I think. It's just one of those, it's like, I was even thinking, in the first, like, 15 minutes, I was thinking, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to watch this, because I'm just mad at her. I just couldn't stand her. That Rosamund Pike, and she's so convincing, it's just a teetotal, you know what, that it's like, I don't even know if I can watch this thing. But I thought, I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, and then we watched like three episodes of Vikings. So they do have Easter stuff, but in the back, they also have like Valentine's cards on sale, 90% off. 
and they have a whole area of peeps so after no peeps for like what a year it's been a while yeah peeps are back and they have the dipped ones here which we really like the dipped ones oh, it's broke a piece of rope. and so here's the cooking stuff Ooh, yeah see those they they're they're, they're not Pyrex. I don't think, I don't think Target, at least in this section, it's like they're not getting the seasonal Pyrex anymore, which is a shame. I have uh, made some fruit salad up. Uh, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine containers. And these are really, really full. So I'll have to be careful when I open them. But I made nine containers. I've actually made two batches. but And I've done a video of this before. So if you're interested, it's so simple to make. But this... Um, this is so much better than the batch I made for the video that I wanted to show you what I used. Um, I think I used this last time, the Very Cherry Del Monte, um, and I used pineapple tidbits, same thing. So then I bought uh, the pudding, I used sugar-free vanilla, pretty sure that's the same. This is where the difference comes in, I think. Uh, this is a cherry berry medley. The one that I used in the video said something like no added sugar something like that and i had bought it at walmart i couldn't find that at walmart so i thought well we're going to kroger i'll see what kroger has but i'm sure lots of stores have this uh, mix this is dark sweet cherries blackberries strawberries and blueberries and um it is uh, 210 calories for the entire bag each one of these bowls is um, Kevin figured it out for me. It's like 200 and let's say 20 calories, something like that. It's like 210, something 220 calories for each bowl, but you get a whole lot. Um, and those little pieces of yellow that are in here, that's just the pudding that I didn't, I, I, I should have used a whisk and I didn't. Um, but, uh, yeah, it makes a lot, but I tried it a while ago and because I didn't get the no added sugar. I couldn't find the no added sugar. I couldn't find any of these bags that said no added sugar. Uh, but because I did get that kind, it is really sweet and delicious. And you get huge chunks. If you're wondering like what comes in that mix, look at this. Look at the size of the berries you get. They're huge. So um, yeah, and I've got them all throughout here. Look how big this is. So I'm very, very pleased with that. This is inside our new uh, family dollar. That We've had a family dollar for a while, but they renovated it. And so it's really nice in here. It's bright and clean. And um, so uh, look at the big Reese's eggs. I know, I noticed that. I was surprised they had Loft House. Um, but it's really well organized in here. And look, Disney gummies. Green apple, sh strawberry, and raspberry. Those are cute. They also have uh, Pez dispensers down there in the shape of little peeps. And I'd say they'll get more Easter stuff out. Uh, these are the baskets you can get that are already made up for you. But we've only been in here one other time. Look, scented candles. Mm -hmm. Look, they have Betty Crocker Angel Food. Um, look at that. Betty Crocker Angel Food Cake, Starburst, Skittles. They have a Raspberry Skittles and a pink one. Those are cool. They have a, they have lots of food in here too. Um, last time we were in here, we bought a ton of cookies. And they have toys and stuff too, don't they? Yeah. Uh, we can if you want. You want to look at the toys? We can look at the toys. Let's look at the toys. Uh, it doesn't look like they have a ton of toys. Uh, 
they do have something or they did have something yeah lol i tell you what though it's they're really not any cheaper here they have a bunch of those lego uh the lego mini things that, like we get for stocking stuffers they have a bunch of those Ashley would like that because it has uh, Marie. And then they have games. Uh, there's quite a bit down here. I didn't see all these. Yeah, so they do have, there's more LOL things right there. There's a dollhouse. So they do have more than I thought. Oh, this. Oh, this is clearance? Ooh, watermelon. Do we? I think we have watermelon. It doesn't say how much it is. Some uh, lunch boxes, Spider Man. Minnie Mouse, Avengers, Rip It. Yeah, we've had those. I think they sell those at the Dollar Tree. They're well, they're not on sale anyway. I don't think. I bet you those are regular price. Yeah, I bet you anything they're regular price. So let's go to the other food stuff. We'll show you what the other food stuff looks like. But you can see a white owls, um, clean, bright. So, and they sell name brands here, just like Hormel, just like you get at Walmart. I don't know what the difference in price is. Um, and then over here they have soups and ramen noodles and chestnut hill. That might be one of their brands, I don't know. Yeah, we've had that. Yeah, it's just been a while since we had it. Yeah, this is where we bought all those cookies before. Tons of cookies. Except for the sandwich ones. Yeah, I didn't really like the... The ones that were like Oreo? Yeah, I didn't really like the... No. These, you, we really like the ones that were like Girl Scout cookies. Those were delicious. Home goods again, and they've gotten more yeah. stuff out for Easter. I mean, like a lot more stuff out for Easter. Uh, they have all kinds of bunnies, and Kevin found these ducks down here. The ducks you could leave out for definitely for all of spring. Um, but these, they have tons of these uh, in all different sizes. But they have uh, really nice. I like the little couple. Oh yeah, those are cute. They have some nice dishes. So with Home Goods, these are the pillows that I got a lot of for winter. They're that Heinz of Oxford and uh, they're made in the United Kingdom. So they have a new selection of them. So they have this one. And then, hold on, I'll show you some more. Um, they have some, this one. They have this one, and I really like that because it has the cat on it. I like the blue and the butterfly. 
that's really pretty and then they also have some right here they have this one with cats and they have this one with I think those are tulips but anyway it's just a really really nice brand they're $30 a piece and they're really well made and uh, they'll last a lifetime so Kevin and I went for a walk today and all of the um be careful it's slick toward the end I will all the pathways were uh clear uh the sidewalks but this is what our uh back porch looks like so since it got up in the 50s today Kevin had bought um I'm going to strangle him. Kevin had bought a package of steaks, a pack of three. And so we're going to cook. I laid out the steaks a couple of days ago because I knew today was supposed to get warm. And so we've laid out the steaks. And we haven't grilled in like a year, probably. Put anything on the grill. But Kevin has. But I, I haven't had like steak. I haven't had cheeseburger or anything. So uh, we came out here though. And this is in front of the grill so he's gonna have to still even though it did get warm this is what the uh the back pathway still looks like so i told you kevin was gonna grill out steaks and he did and i may or may not use worcestershire sauce i just really really like the flavor of worcestershire sauce but i like the flavor of steak as well so um I may eat a little steak, but then I may uh, use some of this too, but uh, it looks absolutely delicious. I want to show you all something. Um, I just take it for granted that everybody knows the same things about YouTube that I do, but that's not true. Some people don't. So that's okay. I'm, I'm going to show you. Um, I've told you all before, if you want to search uh, for any of my videos to see if I've tried something, this little orb right here. Uh, you can click on it and then type something in and it'll come up. So whatever you want to find out if we've had Cheetos, whatever, type Cheetos in. It'll search just my channel. It won't search anywhere else on YouTube. As long as you are on my page, then it'll just search my page. Um, these are my most popular videos, which I was telling a friend uh, about just a couple weeks ago. I said, um, you know, if you want to see which videos of mine get the most views these are the ones that get the most views so making two ingredient peanut butter fudge how to make fried ice cream and then when we did the floor we did the floor when we first moved into this house those are very very old videos um unfortunately at that time back then i was filming with an iphone the sound wasn't great but it is what it is um i had no idea that actually making an omelet had that many views but that doesn't surprise me um but somebody else said something that i thought was interesting so i'm gonna click on videos and these are my videos now somebody left a comment that said it took me all day to scroll down to your the first video you ever posted you don't have to do that <laughs> You don't have to do that at all. That there, there's no having to scroll anywhere involved. All you have to do is right here. It says sort by. Click on it. Click on sort by, and it says date added oldest, date added newest. So as of me filming this, this is the newest video that I added today. The um, uh, cream malicious ice cream. That's the 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 most recent video I posted. If you want to see the, the first videos that I ever posted, just click on oldest and there you go. This shows, no, like I said, no scrolling involved. This was the first video I ever posted. And uh, that, I remember, gosh, that's been 2010. That's forever ago. Anyway, these are, I had told somebody, I think in last week's vlog, some of the first videos that I ever uploaded 
were actually like old home videos. So like this one's only 51 seconds of Kevin and Andrew in front of our old house. Um, this is one that I made of my dad and Andrew when we went to Paris Island for his graduation. My dad was in the Marine Corps. Andrew was in the Marine Corps. Uh, this one I made for my mom. Um, this one is uh, Guido, probably chasing a leaf or something. Um, and then my nieces, when they were little bitty, I talked about in um, one of our videos not that long ago, I talked about the year that Andrew came back from the Marines and we gave him muffins for Christmas. We gave him like a theme. We gave him uh, like Martha White muffin mixes and a muffin, a tin. We took a gallon of milk. I mean, we gave him everything and that was the year. Anyway, um, these videos were from when mom was, my mom was going through chemo. I had no idea that I would ever have a YouTube channel at that time or share those with YouTube or anything. Um, I have said before too, a lot of these videos are painful to watch, especially like these, because I stutter and spurt my whole way through these because I'm just not used to, uh, I was not used to at the time talking to a camera or in front of a camera. And so it's, it's yeah, they're almost uncomfortable watching them. Um, but there's, there's a lot of videos on here that like, um, I don't know that we've ever remade a lot of these videos. Um, Ashley made her, um, diabestus cake is that how she pronounced it and then we made like macaroni and cheese and hash brown casserole we have updated the hash brown casserole video but there's a lot of videos on here that we have not updated just they're like peanut butter roll um stuff that probably should be updated because we filmed them on an iphone and like i said you could hardly hear anything that's when my dad was living in this house and he moved out of this house. And then this is our old house. We moved from our old house into this house. And then that was Guido on the steps because he, Guido never could go up the steps because there's no, um, there's no carpet on the stairs. So he, um, he can't, he couldn't get up or down the steps. So anyway, there's no scrolling involved at all. All you have to do is go by sort by. Go to sort by right over here. So I'm going to click on it again. And I'm going to go to my newest. And I don't even click on most popular. Let's click on most popular. Okay, so it's the ones that I showed you plus more. Okay, so those are... Um, those are the most popular. So anyway, I always uh, keep it on the newest. Because um, I'm just... I like to have the newest ones on there. But when somebody left that comment saying I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled, I thought, well, good grief, you, you'd be scrolling forever, you know? And uh, so I wanted you all to know that you didn't have to do that. One more thing that I wanted to show you all is that I have been doing some would you rather questions every single day. I've been doing a different would you rather question. So what you do is you, if you go to my main page, if you click on community, then it will come up with the poll question for the day. And uh, you can uh, click, this is the one I just posted it one minute ago, and it's only had 10 votes. So, but you can go down through here and uh, you can still uh, vote on all these other ones that I've asked. And you can see what other people, how other people have responded. And there's been some really, really fun questions, but there's also been some deep questions. So if you like uh, would you rather type questions, then this might be fun for you. Richard asked the question, how have we maintained our uh, diet slash calories since we do reviews? Uh, we, the truth is we're really, we're not good at maintaining. We, our weight uh, for Kevin and me fluctuates a whole lot. Um, I am 10 pounds from where I want to be, which is funny because a couple, just a couple months ago, I was uh, happy as could be because I was exactly where I wanted to be. But then we let things slide and we start eating everything in sight. And we, uh, 
when it's colder for me uh, especially I like to eat a lot of comfort food that steak you saw last night was absolutely phenomenal I ate half of it plain just with the steak um, the flavor of the steak and then I had Worcestershire sauce with the rest of it and it I just like the flavor of that it was absolutely delicious but um, you know that's not something that I would ordinarily eat uh, I probably won't have another steak for a year I would rather have a cheeseburger <laughs> but the truth is Richard we we don't do that great at at keeping to foods that we should I, like I said I've weighed 10 pounds more than I did just a few months ago it creeps up very very quickly for me because I have my body likes to be at the weight that that it's at right now but I don't like my body to be at this weight I like my body to be 10 pounds lighter than it is so if I want to get down quickly lose 10 pounds i can do it i can do it in a couple weeks i just have to write down every single calorie and here lately we have not been doing that we were doing a really good job writing down every single calorie and keeping track and we have um thrown that out the window for the past few weeks so truth be told i need to get back at that but we have uh, we have food right now that I also want to eat. We for the past few weeks uh, we have had fried chicken every Friday night instead of having pizza. We've had fried chicken, and in the refrigerator right now we I've laid out fried chicken. So we have fried chicken for this Friday night. But that we this will be all of the chicken I have to fry we've gone through this will be the the last meal that I have out of what I bought and so I won't buy chicken for a little while uh, to fry because I'll have I'll have gotten my fill I'll have had four meals of it and he'll be like okay we need to get back on track so um, but that I, I wish I had a better answer to give you we make sure that we don't go crazy I can tell you that that's just the honest answer is we we make sure that like for me I eat at certain times a day I don't graze all day long and I think that really really helps me I've had some things in the house recently though that have have been too much of a temptation and I have eaten way too much of the stuff but uh, we have uh, now we've eaten that stuff so now that we've eaten it um, it's not a temptation anymore Girl Scout cookies uh, that's one thing so you know uh, there are certain Girl Scout cookies that it's like you you can't resist them now the lemon ones I'll be honest with you we gave the lemon ones away the lemon ones went bye-bye but like the Samoas and uh, the peanut butter and you know those the Thin Mint Kevin ate a lot of the Thin Mint uh those um yeah we just had way too many of those but um there most of the time we try to give stuff away so that it's not in the house so that it's not a temptation for us and that's the best answer that i can give you is if you have foods in your house that are tempting you don't buy them or like for example when we first started our weight loss journey way back ashley of course was still a kid you know and at home i would buy things for her and she had her own cabinet i would never open that cabinet there's no and i've never been one of those moms that picks off my kids plate i personally think that's uh, it's, to me it's just gross if you do that hey it's your kid that's fine you you do that I don't like picking off anybody's plate I don't want anybody eating off my plate I don't want to eat off your plate if you want the french fries you order your own french fries don't be picking off my french fries that's just me you know so I'm not gonna pick off my kids plate for Ashley it the same thing when she was living with us she had her very own cabinet and there's no way that it's like that's Ashley's food I was never tempted to eat that food because that was her food so the best advice I can give to anybody that struggles is if there's any way you can help um, help it uh, from buying the 
things that tempt you, I mean, just don't do it. If, if Little Debbie's tempt you, don't buy Little Debbie's. Um, and if you do have somebody in the house that likes Little Debbie's, well, hopefully there's a kind that you can buy that won't tempt you. So there's a lot of things that Ashley would eat that I would never want to eat. So yeah, it was sweet and everything, but it's like, well, that's not even a temptation to me. So and that's a good thing too. So you might have your favorite candy bar and somebody else might like another candy bar. As long as it's not tempting to you, then you know, you're pretty safe to get it. So I wish I had a better answer to give you, uh, Richard, but that's the best thing that I can say is we try not to keep a lot of things in the house that tempt us. Uh, so when we review a lot of things, we give it away. Uh, and I've been asked that. I think it's from, you know, of course it's from new people. They don't know and they wonder, do you all eat this and throw this stuff away? No, we don't throw stuff away. Now, a lot of times uh, we finish stuff. I mean, if we really like something, of course we finish it. Ice creams and stuff like that, of course we finish it. Candy bars, stuff like that. Chips, um, uh, bags of chips and stuff like that, of course we finish it. But then there's all kinds of things that we buy that we don't really, um, like we know you all want to see a review of it, like flaming Hot stuff, hot, uh, all these things that burn your mouth up. Well, we don't keep that stuff because we that's not something that we enjoy. I'm never going to be tempted to get up in the cabinet and get some flaming Hot thing, you know. So, um, that's the best I can get, advice I can give, though, once again, is just to not have it in the house. Or, if you do have a temptation for something, then try to eat some of it and then give the rest away. So, you might buy a box of Little Debbies that might have eight Little Debbies in it. Eat four of them. Give the other four away. Get it out of the house. But then you didn't deny yourself you didn't deny yourself the, the craving or the privilege of having that. You got a little bit and you gave the rest away. So anyway, that uh, Richard had that question for me. I wanted to make sure I answered it. Um, I hope you all have a great week. Uh, I hope that uh, if you are watching this from one of the states that was affected by the, the storm, I know... Um, uh, Texas and Oklahoma uh, some of you went without electricity and water and um, I just feel I, I can't even imagine I uh, uh, there were people who literally lost all the food in the refrigerator because they went for like five days with no power and so they had to, when they went to the store they had to buy every single, like, I mean, butter and, and eggs and all that stuff because they had absolutely nothing. And I just, I can't even imagine that. Uh, so I hope that things are getting back to normal. You all can let me know if you're in that area. Um, if things are back to normal for you, I, I sure do hope so. Um, I read in our news today that there was some places in, um, uh, Kentucky that were still without power and I'm assuming those are places like in the country uh, Because I know Andrew and Christina were uh, without power, but it was just for a few hours I mean it was like for three hours one morning and uh, But then once power was restored everything was fine. I can't imagine um, Because I mean around here everything's back to normal. The snow's gone um, and I know in Texas, the snow is gone, but I also know that that would, gosh, that would hit, hit you financially to have to replace every single thing in your refrigerator. I just can't imagine that. And not being able to, to, you have the food, but then not being able to, you know, even if you have like cans of food, to not be able to have your electricity to cook the food. So, um, I can only imagine that you would eat a lot of, like, sandwiches and, and uh, chips and stuff like that. Uh, I, I don't know. I've never been in a situation, thank God, where we've had to go for that long a time. So uh, I, I don't, uh, I don't know what it's been like. I'm, I'm sure it was horrible though. So, but if you watched this long in the vlog, thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate the likes. Uh, all the thumbs up, the new subscribers, I really do. So I hope you all have a great week, and we'll see you next week.